Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I hope you've had a great Sunday. Uh, I obviously did not stream last night. No stream last night. There was no Bloodborne stream last night. I uh, kind of lost track of time. And then by the time I got with Dis, I, uh, I think she was busy with something else. And then I got with her to, or today. And she was like, yeah, it's probably best we didn't stream last night because I was, she said, dead tired in her own words. So, got a Saturday off. But now I'm here, back with a vengeance. Uh, unexpected stream time, still recovering. What do you mean by that? But yeah, um, Sunday night stream here. It's going to be a chill, a chill, hopefully somewhat girthy. <laughs> somewhat beefy stream here for uh, two to three hours hopefully oh from the the music okay i got what you mean i was confused for a sec um so yeah just some persona 4 or persona 5 <laughs> oh no we're going back in time and playing persona 4 no uh week ahead i usually tend to try to iron out the week ahead um, Stream-wise, I plan on my Sundays. We're looking like, obviously tonight, we're playing Persona 5. Monday, assuming I feel okay and work hasn't kicked my ass, I think I want to do a couple episodes of Odd Men Out, and then I want to do Dicey Dungeons. Tuesday, I think I want to do... something else Wednesday I think I want to do something else Thursday <laughs> man you see how good of planning I am uh Thursday we'll start Undertale Thursday we'll start Undertale genocide run because the archived finale of the pacifist run will go live on Tuesday and then that'll give two days to for us to get there so that's kind of the plan. Friday, I don't know what's... You know, I, I, I it was a loose planning week <laughs> this week for me on Sunday. Have I seen the Discord thing? I, I saw something come through, and I saw what it was. I didn't read it fully, because I knew I had a few days before that stream. So I'll probably look a bit more into it uh, as we get closer. And then I saw your point recommendations from earlier as well. Although, as you know, I'm bad at checking Discord a lot of the time, so that's the, uh, that's how it goes. No, don't start this cutscene again. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, Ooh, busy week ahead of me as far as work goes, so I'm really hoping I don't, I have to go to the office tomorrow. Oh, my God. I hate driving anywhere now. I got so spoiled when not having to drive anywhere recently. Now when I do have to drive, I'm like, oh shit. Traffic. I did say a while back that I was going to check the Thieves' Den, didn't I? Maybe another time. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels like nothing too interesting right now except the Thieves' Den to fuck around in. How is audio? It seems like it'll pro it's probably on the quieter side right now. Let me see. I boost it a little. All right, so we're gonna at the at the point we're at right now, we're gonna have a school festival to try to get close to a catchy. Is what I assume is happening. I can go outside and hang with people. Clever, clever. Let me make sure. Every time someone redeems that, I have to make sure that I open up a separate little window thing and essentially hover it over my end stream button so that I don't that I don't like end stream before I catch that. Wrong button. Let me see who's available to hang out with. Did I say I was gonna just hang out with the reporter? Probably. Fumi, yeah. Okay, let's go hang out with her. 
I'm beat. Let's go. Thanks for your continued patronage. Okay, I'll see you at the bar as usual. Hurry! Hurry! Oh? Hmm? So that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah, there's something I need to apologize to you about. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. Well, um, I ended up finding out about your... your criminal record. Don't you say a damn thing, Lala Escargo. I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity. Found a ton more than I was expecting. Sorry. So, sorry about that. I have to say though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. It must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Um, because of your incident? Exactly. I made a vow to avenge my partner for... Whoops. Lala-chan, refill. No, it's your turn to tell the truth. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. I think I changed her voice fucking every time. Oh, wait, don't blame me for that. He doesn't have anything to do with my private business. You can trust me. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you. Hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Look, you're going to feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. That's true. And I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with photography. Keo Marukami. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, got a voicemail from Keo saying he was go had gotten hold of something big, but that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kao had gone missing. What was the cause of death? Well, the cause of death is unknown. The authorities can tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer, Shit. The police accused Kao. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. It's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichigo-chan. Sorry. The case was closed, but we never found the truth, and Kao was labeled a professional disgrace. Since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm going to prove Kao's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. Um... How's your search going? Not great. The incident happened over a year ago, so almost everyone's forgotten about it by now. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. Won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Alright, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it, though. You sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile this much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay then, I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry, I'll definitely, excuse me, come up with a better headline before we go to print. I feel like my bomb is, oh yeah, is growing deeper. Boom, boom, ba -doo, ba -doo, boom, boom, ba -doo, boom, boom, Okay, allows you to be with a low security level when infiltrating. I All guess right. that's fine. That's never been a big deal because it's been pretty easy to just lower it, like, within a couple fights. But whatever. Hmm. Still, there's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is on my investigation. <laughs> Maybe we should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. How's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? No, 
Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, kid, can we talk? I'm sorry about earlier, really. For me, digging up your records and such without asking, I mean... I don't mind it. Although it is fucked up. I mean, really. Come on. That's fucked up. Thanks. Hearing you say that helps. Don't worry. I'm not going to leak it to anyone. It's my duty to, and pride as a journalist to protect my sources at all costs. I'm actually making great progress on my private investigation thanks to you. And I'll be needing your help later, too. So I can find out what really happened at 2KO. So, yeah. Here's to helping each other out. Bye bye Buh-bye. Buh-bye. Bye bye. Mm, dropping more. Dropping more. School festival time, I think. Here we go. Let's fucking go. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Great. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you yeah, normal do Ruigi. at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? <laughs> Fun. There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out? Like when we went to the beach. Um, just enjoy yourself. Let loose. Have fun. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. <laughs> now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good. From what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Oh, hello. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. <laughs> smart. She's just smart. She just dragged us into it. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Act like you're not being told to act normal by a, a talking cat. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Service. Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. <laughs> Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. Oh, no. The hell? Well, then. I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. What the fuck do you have? Doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. That's fair. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. 
Yuji, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. <laughs> nice uh, uh, hand movement and gestures. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. And I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm going to be bummed if that happens. Uh, wait. Huh? We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into a trap. I'm going to be bummed if that happens. That is possible. We won't let that happen. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. I heard a ding. Thank you for the wait. Yeah, she's got the, the hand gestures on lock. It's fresh made. Shut up, On. I don't believe you for a second. Lies. I heard a microwave go off. <laughs> well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. Oh no. That's gotta be the one. Ne don't eat the one that's unlike the others. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Burn. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Oh no. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Horror no. Do you want to go for the red one? No, thank you. Definitely not. Oh, you sure? All right, then I'll just help myself to it. Not. Not. Oh, everyone's all here. Oh, so offer it to Akechi. That'll be good. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. No, oh, you gra- oh no. Actually, oh yes. You know what? He deserves it. Let's just call this my performance fee. You'll regret. But it's fine. Mm. It's quite. Mm -hmm. Just kill him, please. That would be hilarious. That would actually be so unexpected. It's just that he just died from food poisoning or something. Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <sighs> My throat. This is... Oh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I, I, I'm... I'm fine. I just love, uh... Spicy... Spicy stuff. Hey, Look at his little arms shake. broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh, t t tomorrow. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Uh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. 
We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. It's all in your head. I'm sure. So, I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously. It's hard not being weird and standing out constantly. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Do 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 do. Oh? Wait. Uh, Ren, Yosuke's missing. <sighs> Where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, sure we'll be fine. This is Yosuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Oh no. It's gonna cut to him like Um Oh. Oh, it's not being read. Excuse me. Are you Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, uh yes. Oh, uh um yes. I my name is Yosuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the fine arts division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ruiji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Ru- Oh, Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san. Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. <laughs> uh, you can back up a little. Now, teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its unless abyss. I've changed hold his on. voice slightly, I can tell. Whoa, 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 hold on there. How should I put this? Uh, your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. <laughs> About it. Oh, but how about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Me? Mm-hmm. Of course, there's no charge. All you do have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. Physical combat. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in count. I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but, uh, there won't be any of that. I see. So you are madarame sans It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. I never... I don't know the word, the definition of counseling, apparently. Well, uh... Well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm, hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. It's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. I see. However, if you are the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. Life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Uh, before you go, Kitagawa-kun, 
What would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I. No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for to imp it to improve through my own efforts. I see. And what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I al would also wish to meet a wonderful master. One who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Ah, I see. All right. At Thank any rate, you. I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. Hmm. I think with most of the members of the team, we've had them meet with Maruki anyway, so... Guess that was just his time. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. The catchy's panel. Beep, 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 beep. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the hell did you were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? I'm at home. I'm not going to answer for everyone else. Are you still at school, Yosuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is a Ketchikun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm no matter what he says. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Can I go out tonight, though? Still? Oh, here we go. What's this? Photo time! This is when we are at the food stand. Oh, look at them. Adorable. Haru. Excited about trying some food. Futaba. Eating some food. Man, even Yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having Yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was. It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. It's atmosphere. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us, On? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Ren's Yakisoba? With the big red mountain of ginger? Oh! No, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. <laughs> the hell, people! Yep, it doesn't look like we we're going to be able to go out. But it's worth trying. Oh, that Thieves' Den is updated. I'll go to the Thieves' Den at least one more time before the end of the game. That's a promise. Or maybe at the very end of the game. At least at the very end of the game. Oh, I didn't even try to go out, did I? <laughs> I just went to the door and then came back. He's like, what are you doing? Hey. Okay, yeah, can't go out. Um, I was just kind of busy thinking about the thieves' den. Ah, still in love with my Risei poster. I hope Fake Dad doesn't think it's weird that I've got that hung up there. Oh. <laughs> the last level, golfer Saru Tahiko. Let's do it. Okay. Beep, 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 yep, we're gonna use the technique and ding 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 hmm. This course hmm. is 360 yards. At least it's par four. In any case, you should try to clear it in four strokes, okay? Got it. Nothing but aces, dude. Nothing but aces. Man, that was a great shot. You re reduce the distance. This one. So have three shots to go. Keep your momentum rolling. Oh, that is my first non-red shot. Nice, the ball's on the green. It's your third shot. Maybe you can get in the cup. Maybe. Oh my god. Three shots on a par four. Hey, it went in. Nice job. 
this this success is gonna carry me throughout the whole week. Oh, you cleared that no problem. You even have a shot left over. I wonder if nice. like you're if you're a little more off more consistently, like it'll take the full shots or not. I don't know. Secret technique book helped, huh? Great. Hmm. You're so good, Austin, at video games inside of video games. Still need guts and kindness. I need to pick out like a movie that increases guts or kindness. Or just Also, I think I should probably water my plant. Doesn't that increase kindness? And I don't think I've done that in a while. So whoops, I guess. Nice. Maybe I'll remember to do it sometime tonight. <laughs> ooh, ooh, down to 22%. Alright, let's hear this speech. We will now begin today's panel. Our panel. Whatever you want to call it. A mascot? Actually, probably, yeah. We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. Tell us all the deets. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. I mean, he's killing it, dude. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as Man, we have so much say, faith in Makoto to get this done. Getting right to the point, I see. Man, well, this already seems obvious. believe that answer from Akechi. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? Dangerous. How are you so positive that they haven't Just talking over the laughter. It's like, fuck all you guys. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And mm -hmm. if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Y your comment just now. Does this uh, mean the uh, police have oh, shit. already identified who Luigi, don't say anything. But I have. But I have my own conclusions about the true identity Damn. of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth. You're not going to ask me who they are? Oh my god, do it. She's giving him the death stare. It's only my personal opinion. So in her that here blood red well. eyes. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? 
This is it's immediately very interesting scene. That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. Oh my god, if he points to right at Makoto. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think? I'm so curious if he's gonna say it. No way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... According to you... <gasps> oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? It's hella convenient. I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Nope. A million trolls going your way. Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's oh, a matter shit. I want to discuss. Oh shit. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, <laughs> if that's alright? <laughs> Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. Come on, does he have red eyes as well? What do you want to talk about? No. What the fuck? Oh, oh, they're fo oh, <gasps> oh, because yeah, in that last dungeon, he did get sucked into it. I can I. I remember making the comment at the time, obviously seeing it, and then the game not saying anything about it, and me being like, that's weird. But I forgot that that was still a thread that they were going to come back to. That's got to be shocked. I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes. Just be dumb. What are you talking about? As I just said, I know everything. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. Ruji, we're still playing dumb. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Don't say anything. I'll take your silence as confirmation. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. Oh? For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. That's a darn shame that didn't happen. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? So I assume Akechi is gonna join the team then. But it's just a shame we don't get one of those cool moments then where he gets his persona then. Like we possibly were missing that moment. This cat. Yeah, yeah the cat can talk. Eyes. I swear it just talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. 
But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse. We call them palaces. To steal the core of their desires. Their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. Oh, a deal, you say? A deal? A deal, you say? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? And I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. Ah, blackmail. That's great. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've Justice. heard that Saison is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Saison. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Saison can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. And your life will be ruined. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Welcome to the justice system. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. Again, blackmail. That said, thanks, Akechi. I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi san's proposal? I think we really have a choice. Uh. Uh. You're demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well. You don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. Shut up, Akechi. <laughs> I you should be getting you. back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! He played us like a fiddle. Hey, they're going! Yeah, I'm not blind. Morgana. Oh shit. Uh oh. I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be. I can't say I don't want to hear Makoto. Stride will occur again soon. I hope you 
all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. He didn't do anything. <laughs> Someone in the back's just like, he didn't do anything. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Wait, they're not gonna address that whole, like, white flash moment we had just a couple minutes ago with Ren and, uh, Morgana? Calm down, Ryuji. What was that? How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh, shit. If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... Oh, man. So much of our plans are all just falling apart. Too many people know about us. She's... I have too many girlfriends that know about us. Me being a phantom thief. Oh God. Fake dad knows now. Bootleg light from Death Note knows. About to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Post festival party. I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so. Let's just go home. <laughs> eh. Huh? Everyone hates you, so let's just go home. Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? No, my cat told me we shouldn't. Um, I was about to head out. Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. If you insist. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai. This is some kind of trap or something, isn't it? What is going to happen? And now, it's time for your favorite shoji tradition. The student sharing special. What? But before that, we've decided to change things up this year. Horny teens. It's like, oh shit, dance. dance. Oh, look at them. Nice shirts. This is exciting. Oh, Corey, good look at them. I played Persona 4 dancing all night. Strut your shit. Look at that one guy on the very right of the screen, like very stiffly moving like his arm limbs and his legs kind of just like going At least he's trying Senpai, let's do it. It's showtime I would not have said any of those if I was him, but okay Wait. Okay, now she's starting to dance. Ren, what are you doing? Oh my god, yes. Oh, we're really setting the stage for Persona 5 dancing. Very impressive, Senpai. So excited. You you better believe I'm gonna play that once, you know, a little while once we're done with this game. That is definitely a 2022 game. Alright, we can't can't not play that at this point. We've done Persona 4 dancing. Two two times. Oh, 
I was afraid it was going to be some slow thing. Hey, you're Yoshizawa san, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Don't go with him. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here. And what is the point of this scene? This is very strange. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's new because it has her in it to... Oh, yes. Okay. Let's get it. Bye. Bye. Meow, 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 meow. Is she going to know the dance immediately? Like, what the hell? Huh? Yo, who's that? Huh? Think I could get her number? Back off, she's my seventh girlfriend. That's crazy. Oh, he's like, oh. He's freestyling. So the guy came up to her and was like, hey, can you just do a dance? Just because we're we don't have much planned or something. They have a full dance team. Why can't they do shit? <laughs> what a moment. I love the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. That was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. Yeah. Uh, as great as I expected. <sighs> Thank you. Wow, that dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. It's my dad. He's nagging me again. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Uh, want me to walk you? You. I'll be all right though. All right, never mind then. The post Fuck me, I guess. was so much fun, especially with you. See you soon. Jim's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I ought to head home. Post festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Looks like I've received some messages. Uh, are you going to the post festival party? Oh my god. The, the, the teacher I'm dating? I have to stay at school for work, but who should I go with the post festival party with? Haru or Kawakami? Oh my god, dude. This seems. The Kawakami seems like a dangerous thing to do. I'm in. <laughs> I have no relationship with Haru at this point. Let's go together. Well, if you insist, thanks. I'll be waiting at the gym. I should head to the gym. I should head to the gym. Oh, turn around. Go. All right. That was a great performance by the dance club. I wonder if anyone's going to say anything about how it's weird that I'm with the teacher. Oh well. Their effort is being ignored, and yet they continue to give it their all. That's today's youth for you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, youth. Unlike you and I, right, Kawakami? Um, you're quite dignified. Uh, sure. You're quite dignified. Uh, what? Anyway, is that mean? About what uh, it's a catchy compliment, kind of. Oh, 
What does this student sharing special mean? Want to go someplace where we can be alone? There's something I want to talk to you about. Enjoy the post festival party. Just stop by the students' association room when you're done. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, come cool, call me. Sure. Uh huh. All right. Yep. 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 Is it really sharing? Like, just say something. Go up on the mic and say shit. How about a good sir over there? Uh, unfortunately, that's me. Well then, come on up. Oh yes, I have a headache. That's good. Good. Do it to you. Now, you're not shy, are you? He's either a carefree spirit who does as he pleases, or an airhead who's oblivious to the situation. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck. I'm new here. Remember? Go see Kawakami. <laughs> All right. now that the oh my god, I just fucking ran out of this, this situation. I was like, nope, you can't make me. Fuck off. Let's move on to our next participant. <sighs> That's very good. Big fan of that. That was quick. Yep, needed to get out of that situation. You know how Akechi kun was talking about the true identity of the Phantom Thieves? Well, let me know if you're in any trouble, okay? I'll be there to help you. Yeah, you know, your mate is weird. That's reassuring. Well, all I can really do is listen to your problems. No matter what's going on around you, I'll always be on your side. Hell yeah. I know I always end up depending on you because you're so reliable. But depend on me sometimes, all right? Oh shit. Oh my god, both of these, Jesus. Uh Oh, yeah, school. Totally. Yeah, totally remembered. Yeah, uh-huh. It's not exactly a substitute, but I can give you this. The hell did she just give me? Sadayo Tayaki? What is that? This is embarrassing. What is that? This makes me happy, I guess. That's a relief. I don't know what it is. All right. I'm going back to work. This is so inappropriate. <laughs> but I can't stop. Oh, and about what you just asked me to do? Oh, no. I'm pretty okay with it. As long as we're not at school. God damn it. Get home safely. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. What? In what? I gotta see what the fuck she handed to me. I gotta remember. Uh, haven't a lot of people been losing their minds lately? Yeah, there's been a sudden increase. I bet it's because of the fan site. I heard the victims were in the rankings there. We should really be blaming the people who requested it. Yeah. Someone else to take the blame. Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Yeah, I was with the teacher. I mean... Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. Oh no, this is going to be a moment, isn't it? The mass media Between her has been and causing quite Fake a commotion Dan. lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves. The sorry state of the police. Destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> Pressure well, mounting. This is troublesome. If 
things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion, we'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you, but it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. Yes, it's definitely your age that's the problem here. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. Oh, exactly the scene that we keep flash-forwarding to. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results. Oh, the bold no measures, what. Mean. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. It's definitely, over the last couple of parts, it's definitely, we're definitely, it's obvious, I mean, for many reasons, you can tell we're getting closer to the end here. But man, we've just gotten a lot of plot, a lot of voiced, you know, cutscenes, which is obviously great for me. But, uh, yeah, it's just like, layering. You, I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Proceeding as planned. Look at that sleaze face. <laughs> We're home. Oh no, here's a moment. Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Is he gonna think she's a target? Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me. Quick, Futaba. Kill fake dad. X plane. Oh no, she's gonna. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's. Don't blame Futaba. Oh. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? about it wait I didn't let the whole <laughs> ah, it went on about it. ever since mom died I there was n no exit I was trapped in in a labyrinth of my heart I knew I had to leave it but I, I couldn't do it by myself Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. Don't be mean, Sajiro. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Okaba's research about He's altering like, what one's the fuck? cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. But still. When did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere. And even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> and 
first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change. Nothing in your gets behavior. past fake dad. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. Oh, great. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it Good joke. exactly as she said. And now, I feel like shit. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? <sighs> you should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Yep, totally. She told me the Phantom Thieves did the change of heart thing. I have no involvement. Is there a connection between you and them? Nope. The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. Oh shit, we really do have to kiss Sajiro. You know, it's too much. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? Yeah, you know, he's had too much time sitting behind the bar of a pretty empty establishment. And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Oh my god, do I just... Whatever. Just tip my hat to him. You're sharp. You think this is a game? Alright, he didn't like that response. <laughs> You know what people call them? Criminals. Cool people. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? This is all too much for him. Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? Uh, but he doesn't just deal with the phantom thieves. He's actually one of them. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Yep, it was just a good joke. Haha, <laughs> funny. This is no joke. Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro. So, basically... I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. Yeah, and look how good everything is. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. That's fine. Don't what worry the about hell? it. Hell. I, I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Stop it. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? 
Hmm, I'm sorry. I mean, the one who killed mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing. Yeah, never mind the, the, the catchy guy who already figured it out, you know? Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. <laughs> all that yelling's gotten me hungry. Hmm. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. That would have done a lot, Morgana. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Same, Futaba. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? You likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Ren was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you to turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case, we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown, the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Government official. It's all starting to fall into place. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. She just smashes the keyboard. <sighs> Guess the chief had an inkling after all. Wait, why can't I? Why can't I hit the touchpad? Or is my touchpad broke? Let's see what happens. Hey, hey. Futaba looks depressed. You should go talk to her. Okay. I guess we will talk to depressed Futaba in just a bit. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. Take a quick restroom break. Quick water. I will be right back.
And I'm back. Alright, let's talk to Depressed Futaba to see what's got her depressed. Sorry. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. <sighs> it's so late already. Uh is Sojira still awake? This is kind of awkward. Um You can sleep on the sofa? Wait, shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so that Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? <laughs> Good point. I'm gonna go home. Night. Hey. I can see the fatigue on your face. Just go to sleep already. Oh, can I not do anything else? Yep. All right, I guess we'll go to bed then. Well then. Let's call it a day and go to bed. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Great. And have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Oh no, so Jir is like, oh shit. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. Alright, I can give you a little under a million yen. So Jir, if you sh keep your mouth shut. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied <clears throat> by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. <laughs> Only if we get caught. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Just sass them right back. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the phantom thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Even? Why did this happen? Um, there's no choice. That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Nah, I wouldn't dream of it, dude. Uh, believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible, too. Did you see that reward? Did you <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. Man, I sound so evil. That will be when their curtain falls. I am comedically such a villain. Hey, great! I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Akechi suggests they go to the school, right? Yeah, but let's not. Uh, I was distracted by the name they call Pallid Fella. Uh, there's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen, man, just let me dream a little. 
Let me just stare off into the oblivion like a weirdo while I talk to you. Yo, you see the news? I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually having a wanted notice out for us kind of feels weird. Feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're going to get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good though. Let's talk more in person. Yes, let's talk more. About it. We're wanted now. And the 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> what? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. They are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjet. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. All right, calm down, Yusuke. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. Oh, great, infighting. That's exactly what we need. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiance. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly. Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Ryuji, please. <laughs> Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. Please don't beat up my shitty couch. It's some of the only furniture I have up here. <laughs> hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? Have we haven't lost yet. I don't know. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. We got too big. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah. That really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot. I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults. To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up and that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. No. No, guys. Hey, what should we do? We haven't lost yet. 
Let's go. Refocus, team. Yeah. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Well, I'm sorry about punching your couch. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. I know how you feel. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. <laughs> I can't even joke about it. You can still change. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. I got a message from Akechi Kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. Yeah, we have, Morgana. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Boo, boo, doo, boo, doo, 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 doo. Okay. Can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. I assume I can't go, can I? Might as well try. <laughs> fake dude, the fake dad. Hey. Okay, I can't go out. Can I at least do things? Yes. Alright, I guess we can get cracking on that last video game. How exciting. Oh. Featherman Seeker. Featherman game with a cult following. Oh, yeah. I checked the manual. It says the story in this game is different from the original TV show. Something about trying to become the sixth Phoenix Ranger? I don't know much about the TV series, but this looks like a game you can really sink your teeth into. Let's become a Phoenix Ranger. Is it an RPG? Well, then. By the way, haven't you read this? Yes. Yes, yeah, use it. Makes sense that you've learned how to. Alright, let's do this. As the threat of doom draws near, a new power spreads its wings. Whoa. Whoa. They really know how to get you pumped up. Is this a lab? The person in front of the computer looks like a scientist. Woman in white lab coat. You're awake already. That's a promising sign. My name is, well, just call me Osagiri. I've been put in charge of your training. Welcome to my space laboratory. You're the strongest fighter. That oh, wait, no, that's still her. Uh, welcome to my space laboratory. You're the str I totally misunderstood for a sec. Uh, strongest fighter that I've created yet. We will now commence your training. Endure it, and you will require power equal to that of a Phoenix Rangers. Since today is your first day, we'll use a simulator. Don't worry about passing or failing. Just show me what you can do. I see. Training, huh? Guess you can't become a hero if you don't put in the effort. Let's begin with a warm-up. Try controlling your strength as instructed. First, remember the commands. It's, oh, it's a memory game? Then enter the commands accurately within time limit. Oh, God. Oh. Easy. Okay, that one was baby. Impressive. You exhibit flawless control. So you do with the next challenge. Boop 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 boop. Boop 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 boop. 
Incredible, your strength is far greater than I initially projected. This next challenge will be the last. Battle simulator, start. Mm. Oh, the scenery changed. Mm. Is this a waste disposal face, uh, faculty? <laughs> you will be facing an aberrant from Xylam, the Infinibug army plan to take over Earth. His name is Scrapateranum, powerful aberrant born of a parasite that fed on scrap metal. But I know you can defeat it. I have faith in you. Okay. So this training is preparing us for real combat. All right, let's get the aberrant. Clangity clang, clang clangity, clangity clang. I'm Scrapaternum, the scrap metal eating aberrant, clang. There's too many people on earth, clang. I'm going to squash them flat to make it a more comfortable place to live, clang. <laughs> I assume this is supposed to be like a, obviously we've seen the Featherman outfits before. It's like a, it's kind of like a Power Rangers knockoff type, or you know, eluding thing. This guy's pretty chipper about being a threat to the plant's safety, huh? You dare stare in my way, clang, I'll flatten you out, clang. Now then. Here it comes, get your controller ready. Take this, compression press. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I was gonna mess that up really bad. Uh, hmm, how could this cheeky little brat dodge my attack? Clang it! Oh. Clang it. This is our chance, wind punch. Square, square circle X, square circle X. Oh my god, I'm, if these get harder than this in the other levels, I'm gonna have trouble. I feel it. I can't believe I lost. Glory to Zylam Clang. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, big win. Big win. Hey, we're back in the laboratory. Simulation is complete. Now you know what fighting an aberrant is like. From now on, you will be known as Gray Pigeon. Oh, god damn it. Continue your training by going on solo missions. You will meet the Feathermen only when you gain sufficient strength. You could become the sixth Feathermen. You may even surpass them. No one would be able to defeat you. No one. Well, you must be tired here. Take this nap capsule and get some rest. Oh, speaking of, I never looked at the item that I was given from hey, hey. the teacher. Finished training, so what do you think? Can you become a Phoenix Ranger? Nice. Secret technique book helped. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm, uh, I'm sure you're tired after how uh, into it you were getting. Let's stop here for today, okay? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, forgot to water the plant again. Oh, my memory sucks, dude. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? Fuck this guy. I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. It's all part of their plan. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Yeah, get him, older employee. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose it's that makes sense plan. since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! <laughs> Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to sai -san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. 
True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Great. Huh? Really? <laughs> Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change your heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai San come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. Oh I mean, shit, did I? I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics There's won't too long of a it. pause there. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. I guess I can understand <laughs> how you feel. And changing Sai San's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? She'd be in trouble. I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai San's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. Ah, says it so evilly. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? Yeah, Makoto, what do you say? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Hmm. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? You think? I can't really explain it, but I guess it's how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai San's heart? I don't think we have a choice. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. 
I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Yeah, good. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. No. Okay. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. Come on. It's just... Haru, why, why would you blow this whole thing like that? You Come on. Evasive today. Haru, get it together. <laughs> I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. A palace? In me? In you. Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? Man, we are so close to getting caught up to this time, I feel like. That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although... He would never keep anything from me. His attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Dots. <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey, I'm Mia Kuhn. You need to keep your focus. I'm sorry, it's hard. <laughs> it seems you're completely worn out. D look at me. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. So I'm slowly starting to accept the truth. I feel like my bond with Sai is growing deeper. Deeper. All right. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. <laughs> There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? Well, let's see. Flashback, 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 flashback. What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. I got you. Summary of the story up to this point has been updated. 
Nice. Nice. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. Um, that's not necessary, Futaba, but thanks. A girl shouldn't say things like that. You tell her too. Don't do that. I thought you'd like that. No. You think of some <clears throat> horny teen that would get into a relationship with a teacher and well, I mean, what do you think? Also, Who do you think I, I am? Maybe overthinking it, but my voice Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first. <laughs> <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Whoa. Oh, it's this again. What is happening? <laughs> what is this? What? Huh? Now for today's train news. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence regarding the current cabinet. That along with Legislator Shido's plan for new party has sparked fears of governmental disbandment. Exciting. Where are we meeting today? Oh, right, we were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where is that? Hint, the government office district? Uh, oh god. Kasumi Gaseki. Sure. Indeed. Oh, I've heard of that place. Never been there, though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. Police Department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security? The Dai Building is right there, right near there, too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? Won't get caught, right? According to Akechi Kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we are just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading to the lion's den. Bam, 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 bam. Ba -do, do 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 So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. November 20th. Still, there will be Three quite a bit weeks. of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. Oh. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. Girl, let me infiltrate your palace. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? You're so lucky. What a nerd. I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. No, we don't want him in the group chat. That's true. Ooh. I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. Futaba, calm down. She's praising you, I believe. 
And shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like sai -san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. So does... I mean, I could maybe be missing something, but how the hell does Akechi know she has a palace if he hasn't been inside of the palace to confirm that a palace is there, you know? Because once you need the three things to then unlock, essentially get to the metaverse and go to the palace, so then how does he know she has a palace? It's probably something I'm missing, but it's whatever. Although, the competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been matched. No. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been matched. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! <laughs> How about Gambling. a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but... Does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. What? Found. A casino? I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Alright. Let's fucking go! I want to see a catchy's persona. Give me the persona. Oh wait, maybe maybe he hasn't gotten his persona yet. Maybe he's just like I've got your powers, but maybe he doesn't actually. Well, I don't know. I don't know shit. Obviously, I've only just been hey, playing this right game for there, more than a hundred hours. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> oh, hey, yo. A casino palace is probably pretty dope, you know? I'm for it. Why haven't they changed Court outfits House though? Casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that the police station? Yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Oh, okay. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. Ruigi said a cab. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. How about Prick? <laughs> code name? <laughs> Big old prick. Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. <laughs> Him saying it like that's so fucking dopey. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then perhaps Karasu will be best for me. Karasu? You know, like a raven. Oh, God. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. You don't get to be Raven. You don't get to be cool sounding Japanese Raven. You get Crow. Got it. No, 
Now then, let's head into Fuck the you. <laughs> Fuck you, Akechi. Now then. Uh, this, oh, this music. Oh, shit. Uh, this is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration route. Alright, I guess we're gonna just do this then, yeah? Can I, like... Oh, it's got lyrics, too. So wait, can I change outfits? Because, remember, I don't think when we got Haru, I did the thing where I normally would want to see everyone in the different outfits. Oh my god, we got funky music? Oh, can... Let me see. Just to test it out. doesn't look like it so we'll when we go in if I can remember I mean I know I've said to do several things and I haven't remembered so also speaking of what's the item that I was given from the teacher uh, here we go Kawakami special specially made Taiyaki stores 100 SP to one ally well, that's a pretty good item Joker. like me as part of your team sure I don't mind uh, stay You're here. Right. Oh, we need to make a team out here, too, then? Okay, so right now we've got Ruiji, Haru, and Morgana. Because that was for the tough, um, like, final fight with, uh, Haru's dad, so. Alright. Oh, navigation be right here. Okay, well, we have to get the new guy, right? Be a mistake not select me for this. You understand, do you not? Oh. Ah, seems to be quite a few people on the team. Could you tell me who to switch with? Um, I don't know what kind of fighter you are. Go ahead and take Haru's spot. Superb judgment, Joker. Actually, how can I? I can see his persona, yeah. From now, I need fucking other people's. Okay, uh, uh. The Justice Crow. Um, stats wise, let me see. Doesn't seem too bad. Milady. Okay, so his persona is called Robin Hood. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is fancy, dude. Oh, it's got Robin Hood on his bow. He's got a bow. And he does light damage stuff, it looks like. Weak to curses. Heavy almighty damage to all foes. Megaton rate. Severe physical damage to a foe. Medium blessing damage. Medium curse. Oh, medium cur can do some curse stuff, too. Jack of all trades, I guess. Just being inflicted with ailments. Medium chance of curse insta-kill. Medium chance of bless insta-kill. Okay, so he's got that all going. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Give me the background. A noble thief that made waves in England during the Middle Ages. He's an expert archer and leader of the Merry Men. Outlaws of Justice who made Sherwood Forest their home. Do an action. Oh, you're so cool. And then his summon look. It was just blue. Okay, so we get, we'll bring a catchy. Ship. Ship. I like these portraits of the characters. Very good. The Hermit. The Justice. The Empress. The High Priestess. Queen. Like, this is a good picture of uh, Makoto. I almost said Futaba. Makoto. Like the angle of the, the shot there. Very good. All right, so yeah, we'll bring a catchy. Makes sense. Um, let's bring on instead of Morgana. I can um, yeah, I can just do it on the screen. And instead of Ruigi, let's bring Makoto. So essentially, I just switched in. I think I took off. Oh. I think I left off Yosuke both times. Sorry, Yosuke. But essentially switching out Ruigi 
Morgana, and Haru for on Makoto Kenji. I think that's pretty good. This is funky music while I've been doing this all. Okay, let's go, guys. There's just people out and about. Hey, we can't go that way. We'll garner far too much attention. Let's find another route. Okay. Go over here, then. Everyone, hands in your pockets and just act cool. Fast walk. Nice. Okay. Looks like we'll be able to sneak in from here. Oh. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Penis nose. Straight up. Penis nose. What a dumb mask. I'm sorry. I I don't mean to get graphic, but Jesus. And his, his stupid little outfit, too, with it all. Oh, it's fitting for him because he sucks. But, like. Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? He's got a stupid little cape. It just Ugh. means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. <laughs> Just drill someone with your face. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But I am excited for the casino palace. That's pretty dope. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. I mean, he's not an. I mean, Akechi is a lot of things, Ruji, but he's not stupid. It's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? Or what of it? I wonder if you were as nervous as I am now during your first attempt at this. No, it's only you. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? I hate to catch you so much. Will you please stop interrupting? Yes, Makoto, put him in his place. My apologies. We found someone that I dislike more than Makoto and it's a catchy. Something we never thought would be able to be done. Well then, let's go. I feel somewhat nervous. Well then, let us begin by securing our route. Okay, is it... Oh, we don't have the whole group, so I can't do the outfit change. Okay, I gotta remember when we get into a safe room. We'll do the outfit changes. We'll see everyone in all the different outfits as a team. Should be great. Also, we're going to end stream once we get to the first save room, so... Actually, can I save outside of this? That's probably what I should have been doing, yeah? Let me see. <laughs> but we're leaving, guys. Yeah, I can save. But I can't save in here, yeah? No, cannot. Okay. So, we'll, we'll, so we shouldn't go partway into the palace. Uh... Seeing as we're not going to be able to stay on too much later anyway, so we might as well just call quits here. I'll just add this. Go ahead and jump down a save spot. This music is way too funky. Way too good. Okay, that'll do it for the stream. Great Sunday night stream. 
Uh, stream start the week for sure. Like I said, Monday through Wednesday, we'll think of what we're doing. Probably an odd minute out stream on Monday at least. Um, Thursday, we'll start the genocide run of Undertale with how well the uh, pacifist run went. I say that half jokingly. I'm sure this one will be a blast. Um, and yeah, other than that, until tomorrow night. Uh, Streams final words were chosen earlier, was redeemed by Tricolor Llama. Final words of the stream being, the final words of the stream chosen by Tricolor Llama are, 